I love you. Lay back and let me. Kid. Oh. And he says, you look a little different than on your photos. That he thinks that that is actually misleading. Should have updated my dating profile photos to match how my hair looks now. So I'm looking at him from missionary like this. Like, bro, are you being for real? It's uncircumcised. Certainly not in a hurry to stick around and find out what kind of drunk he is. It's not that it's easy, right? They don't have too many qualifications. Look at that. Laughing, smiling, taking pictures. So she's gorgeous. Hey guys, welcome back to Mortal Life. Now guys, if you know where I am, I'm gonna disclose location, but I'm over here. We got, uh, I, love go I love being up here because right there we have Otigas, and over there, over there you have uh, Makati area and BGC right there. So I'm right in the middle of everything, guys. And also, I'm gonna start doing my uh, content while I'm going around, showing the area, doing some walking videos. So be sure to watch that. I may do it on another channel. So be sure to watch that and subscribe. I'll let you guys know when it's up. Before I get into this, I ask that you like, comment, subscribe. Also, click that notification bell just to make sure you get on my videos as soon as I release them. And I gotta say this, a lot of you guys are not subscribed. You may think you subscribe, but you're not. So you may see me every day because I'm popping up in your feed. So if you don't see me in your feed and you're not watching my videos, that's because you're not subscribed. Most people aren't subscribed. I think I'm going to have a number here somewhere that shows the percentage that I subscribe. We need more subscribers. Subscribe now. All right, guys. So now, let me get into this video. Ten things you should be saying to your man every single day. Perfect. Let me fix your plea. So lucky to have you. What can I do for you? Believe in you. I trust you. I'm proud of you. I respect you. I love you. Back and let me. Kid. Oh, that, that in part. Lay back and let me suck your. How? What? First of all, you're not gonna speed past that. Like you didn't just say what you just said. Yes, that's what a lot of guys want, and guys want to lay back with it too. Like, it's just feel. Oh, it's better when you getting that done and you don't know where it's coming from because you can't see it and you're just like, oh, it hits different places. If you if you know what I mean, you know what I mean rejected by a guy in the most embarrassing and humiliating way possible but still a part of me feels like this was my fault so i need you guys to let me know what you think one day i matched with this guy on bumble who was very very handsome he was a documentary filmmaker curly brown hair profile said six foot two at the time i was going through an identity crisis so i just so happened to dye my hair back to brunette although previous to that i was blonde I was on this dating app and unfortunately I hadn't updated any of my photos to reflect the way that I looked, although the photos that I did have were just like taken two, three months ago. It's not like my physical appearance looked that different, it's just that my hair color was very different. So me and this guy are literally talking for two days, we're hitting it off, the conversation is flowing back and forth and most of the time guys will just waste your time and not ask you out on a date or if they ask you out on a date they'll ask you to like go for a walk in the park. Days after us matching, we are on a date, I meet him for the first time, he's exiting his car and he's walking towards me and as he's walking towards me I could tell he has like a confused look on his face and I've been on many dates I've never been accused of being a catfish I've never had somebody disappointed when they saw me in real life in fact I've had guys tell me that they are surprised and that I actually look better in person that I look better than in my photos he gives me a hug we walk to the restaurant we sit down we're ordering drinks and he's just asking him random questions trying to make small talk and he is just being very very odd and standoffish and at one point during the date he looks at me and he says you look a little different than on your photos i was like yeah i actually dyed my hair i went darker i've been a brunette in the past like this is actually close to my natural hair color and i was just tired of the blonde because it was ruining my hair and then he tells me that he thinks that that is actually misleading and that I should have updated my dating profile photos to match how my hair looks now. So then I ask him, well, would that have changed your opinion of me? Would that have made you not want to go out on a date? And he kind of laughs and shrugs it off and says, well, you know, I do like blondes. And that just- The guy thinks he's going to meet a blonde. He's in a blondes. And actually the blonde hair blinks her feature features out. She probably didn't realize that. I only see her as a blonde right now. I get it. So when he's seen you, your face wasn't lighting the way he is, that he wants it to light up because he's thinking you're a blonde. But she, women don't get it sometimes. 
He's a man. He's visual. Understand. I understand him. I wouldn't have took it that serious, but I understand him. I get it. Let me see what else she gotta say. This like rubbed me the wrong way. Anyway, we end up splitting some appetizers on a couple of drinks and I end up leaving and thinking to myself like this is probably not gonna go anywhere because that guy was super, super weird. I have no plans on texting this guy, but then I get a text from him the next evening. He sends me a whole paragraph that I never even asked for. In his paragraph, he tells me that he thinks that it's not right, that I misrepresented myself on my dating profile, and that if he's being completely 100% transparent, he is into blondes, that is his specific type, and he does not prefer brunettes. I never replied to him, I ended up blocking his number, but guys, there was a part of me that almost got my butt into my car and went to Sally Beauty Supply to get Hurry. some bleach because I was so insecure at that point. When I look back on it though, did I make a mistake? Did I misrepresent myself? Did I catfish this yeah. guy? I don't know. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. I mean, yeah, uh, cause if, it was to him. It wouldn't have been to me, but it was to him. He's in a blondes, right? Men are very visual. He took that, he took that to heart. He's like, I want to meet this. He'd probably say, yeah guys, I'm gonna meet this beautiful blonde girl. Oh, the way the, the light shines on her face with that beautiful blonde here. Oh man, dude. Oh, she's so hot. And the senior said. I'm there. This is the circle of sadness. It's, that's what his heart did. His, his, his senior said. I get it. I think you guys get it too. I get it more because I seen the, I reacted to a video the other day and a guy had a fat girl. He said he didn't like her. And I get it. He's, when you look a little bit off weight, he had it in his head. He probably even got one off the earth. <laughs> the same thing with the guy with the blonde. It's serious. So one time I was at a work event and my boss decided that he was gonna invite his super, super, super handsome, handsome, finest friend to the work event. And I asked my boss, I was like, hey man, put me on your friend because he's finest. My boss is like, yeah, sure. Cause you know, I'm a good girl, you know, I'm a per well, I'm not a good girl, but I am a good time. You might die, but you're going to have an amazing time while you're with me. But anyway, so he's like, yeah, you know, I'll put you on whatever. And I was like, you know, what's his name? And he said his name. And I was like, okay, ew. Cause first red flag, you know, his name was the same name as my dad and my brother and my granddad. Like how I'm supposed to say that in bed, but whatever. I was like, that doesn't matter. Cause I might not even have this guy, whatever. So he links me in the dude. And I don't know if he asked me on a date or if I was like, hey, nigga, you taking me on a date? Because that's possible. That's my brand. But however it happened, he planned the date. I didn't have to do anything. He was just like, what do you like to eat? And we ended up at this bar in Virginia Highlands. We had a wonderful date. It was like one of those butterflies in the stomach dates where you do all the talking about super personal stuff and the date ends up somewhere else. And it's like a two part date. It was a really good time so the drunker i'm getting i'm looking at him like yes i never really wanted light-skinned babies but i guess i could have them because you are so fine and funny and you got a good job and i'm interested in all the things that you're talking about wonderful i'm into it so i decided with my little slutty self that i was gonna him on the first night because that's my right as a person and as a woman so i asked him i was like you know hey friend you want to have some and he's like yeah i want to have want to come back to my place and I'm like well no you know I like to have a home court advantage I like all my soaps and lotions and potions and I got my wine that I like at my house and plus if you wear like it's just better for me to be at home so he's like you know whatever where do you live and I'm like Lithonia he's like Lithonia which is like in traffic like a 30 40 minute drive from the city this was I don't live in Lithonia no more don't stalk me but anyway um so he was like I ubered here and I'm like well you can ride in my car like if I'm gonna give you some pussy the least I can let you do is like ride in my car like come on friend so we get to the house or whatever we sitting we chilling we talking it comes time for us to do the whoop-de-woo -whoop. mind you his body when he took his clothes off is not what I imagined it to be and not in like a body shaming kind of way he had a nice body but most of the time like squishy bros aren't into me and he didn't look squishy under his clothes I'm squishy too so I'm like damn it's really thick out this mother because most of the time gym bros are into me I don't get play from nobody who is not like super like athletic and active most of the that be on my body be on their body too but I digress so my and his thick is the hunch and he is me all off beat and I'm like bro what it completely shattered everything that I thought about him he is hunching like you know how somebody like you're supposed to clap on the two and the four he was clapping on the one and a three and I'm like bro like my life I'm literally like losing it so I'm looking at him for missionary like this like bro are you being for real and he's like you like this but the way that he asked me was like he was genuinely asking bro no so I stopped him and I'm like let me do it so I'm trying to top from the bottom and he's fighting me what the so I try to let him on, continue on with what I could best describe as like sexual like spasms. And I'm just so upset with myself. I finally stop him. I'm like, look, you're going to have to stop that. You can stay and we can be friends, but I'm going to make some tea and uh, we're going to have to quit this. 
she sound like a girl that I do it all the time. She's like, oh yeah, do it on the two and the four, not the one and the three. Like, I'm like, I'm lost myself. <laughs> I've been doing this for years, like, on the two and the four and the one and the three, like, huh? But she got a part two, let's get into that. Sorry it took so long for me to, excuse me. Sorry it took so long for me to record this. I am on vacation. I was preparing to go on vacation when I made the first video. But anyway, for context, so on the ride home, the ride home was like eerily quiet, but not in like a creepy way, but just like he knew something I didn't. So I'm just like, I wonder if this is just his like pregame, trying to get in the, the mode to like really put it down like type situation. I don't know what's going on, but it was very, very quiet. And it's also odd because I was driving. So it felt like I was like Ubering myself to a encounter, whatever. So then we get to the house, he gets naked. It's uncircumcised. It's a full. It's got a full North Face on. A Montclair, honey. <laughs> you can't make it up. It is totally closed. So I looked at him and I'm like, "Hey, friend," because he's looking at me like I'm supposed to, you know. And I'm like, mm, "No." I said, "You weren't gonna tell me about this." And he's like, "I'm sorry, I'm breathing hard. I'm walking real fast. I want to make my reservation." I said, "You weren't gonna tell me about this." And he said, and I quote, "I don't feel like that's something that warrants a discussion, sir." is in black tie attire. Your penis could go to the Met Gala right now with all the clothes it got on. And nobody's ever stopped you and been like, hey, let's have a little chat. So when we started doing this and it was wrong, I'm like, oh, maybe it's cause they didn't cut off the stuff they needed to cut off to make it work right. Cause I had never seen one of these in real life, just in like, you know, like pictures and things like that. So, you know, after I made him stop and I made the tea, he was kind of looking at me like, am I being for real? And I'm like, yeah, I'm totally being for real so we're just laying in the bed it's very uncomfortable because again this is our first night together so he's just in my house chilling like we cool and we watch a new girl or something i'm texting all my friends everybody i know i'm like you will not believe because people know him and i'm like you know so and so from so and so so let me tell you what happened and i'm spreading the news so then maybe like an hour hour and a half later he's like oh you want to try again no nope. i think i'm all set sir i don't have to butt my head up against the same wall twice no thank you you'll be seeing your way out she's ruthless not a nice bone. That's why you guys got to know who you're getting with. And I mean, he'd be all right, right? The man's not circumcised. Me, myself, a lot of disease, a lot of stuff like that comes from it. I hope he was strapped up. I hope he was strapped up because that kind of girl seemed like she's from Georgia or Houston or something like that. And yeah, she seemed like she gets around a lot. Be very careful out there, fellas. These girls are getting around and talking about he did it on a one and three, not the two and a four. I don't know what she's talking about. <laughs> so, yeah, and I'm 43. So imagine that girl, thousands. Some of these girls are in their thousands, and she's probably one of them. First day, oh, hey, you look cute. Let's do it. It's like that, like, meet you on a date nap. Hi, how you doing? You look cute. How do you think I look? Let's get together tonight at five and do it on the two and the four not the one and the three <laughs> let me get into the next one did you just have to stand up and literally just walk out now this may have not been technically a real date it was more like a precursor to a date um but let's just say that what i saw told me we don't need to have an actual date this is a guy that I met on Hinge. Um, he and I had tried to schedule a proper date, but our schedules just could not line up. He would be traveling, then I'd be traveling, then he'd come back home, but then I had COVID. We just couldn't get it together. And usually I would have just let it go and said, maybe we just aren't meant to meet. But we had a mutual friend who had said good things about him. So I was especially interested in seeing if this might be a good fit for me. It's a Sunday evening and I get a text from him letting me know that he is about to leave a Padres game and he wants to know if I'm down to come and meet him um, somewhere for a drink. I live walking distance to where the Padres play at Petco Park, so where he was would be, I don't know, five, seven minute walk for me, nothing crazy. And I'd like to also say that this is obviously not a date <laughs> because this is a last minute like hey are you free and normally i would not do something like that but we had tried so many times truly so many times to schedule a proper date and it just our schedules were not allowing it and so i thought okay well maybe if i just go and meet him for a drink that will help me decide if i actually want to go on a real date with him um since it seems like that's going to be kind of hard anyway since our schedules are just not working out shouts out to her she doesn't mind meeting up for drinks, guys. There's one or two out there. There's, there's quite a few, but that'll meet for drinks because they understand they got to get to know a man and see if it's worth dating. 
So this is what happened. I give shots out to her, right? Hand clap for her. I can't do it because I got my phone. But hand, hand clap to her for being a regular person. I give her that. So I go and I meet him. And when I tell you guys, he was so, so incredibly drunk. It was actually outrageous. And I truly was questioning why the hell he texted me if he was that drunk. drunk. Yeah. He was so drunk to the point where I could tell him that my birthday's in March. And then 60 seconds later, if you asked him when my birthday was, he literally couldn't tell you. His short-term memory was literally 60 to 90 seconds. He couldn't remember anything I was saying. He couldn't hold a conversation. He would literally just stare into space and start laughing. And when I would ask him, why are you laughing? He'd be like, oh, I'm just thinking out loud. And I'd be like, you're not thinking out loud because you're not saying words. You're literally just doing this. <laughs> what is that? So clearly I'm not having a good time. He's way too drunk and I'm uncomfortable because it's not fun being alone with a man who's very, very drunk who you don't know. I don't know if he gets that. violent when he's drunk. I don't know if he gets mean when he's drunk. And I'm certainly not in a hurry to stick around and find out what kind of drunk he is tonight. So I decide to get up and excuse myself to the bathroom. And I think, okay, I'll call my best friend and we'll make a game plan of what I want to do. I go to the bathroom, but the door is locked because someone's in there. And so I turn around so that way my back is facing the bathroom. And then my eyes see the exit out to the patio. And before I could even make a conscious decision, my body just started moving. Next thing you knew, I was halfway home, walking home. And so I texted him and I just said like, hey, went to the bathroom and wasn't feeling well. So I decided to go home. He responds to me like 30 minutes later, which makes me think, did you not notice for 30 minutes that I was gone? But he responds to me saying, oh, all good. So you're not feeling well. And then like 20 minutes later, he asked me, he texted me again, asking if I want to come over to his apartment and watch a movie. And oh, at this point, so. I'm like, this guy is out of this world in the worst way possible. I don't reply to that text. I just go to bed. The next morning, maybe a couple hours into the morning, I get several texts from him basically expressing how embarrassed and sorry he is about the night. He claims he's been overserved as if he didn't order every drink that he drank. And I just didn't reply to any of his texts because what the hell was I gonna say? You should be embarrassed, you should be sorry. That was embarrassing and sorry behavior. Needless to say, we never actually went on a proper date after that because I saw what I needed to see and I didn't like it at all. Um, so yeah, we're done with that guy forever. Wow, now, I give it that. I have nothing, to say, nothing bad to say about that, right? She did it right. She went out for a drink with the guy. He overdrank. She saw that he was a raging alcoholic. <laughs> and that's how she was looking at it. She has that good girl attitude. She seems like she has a daddy in her life, right? She's beat, she said, okay, she's a normal, meet up for a drink. She's one of those girls that could be a keeper. I don't know her, but she could be a keeper. And he messed it up. That's on him. Man, turn the sound off. Now, you see his brother here, he's in Japan. Why? It comes across like it's very easy. It's not that it's easy, right? It's not that they're easy, it's that they're not, they don't have too many qualifications. That's what it is. The women think logically. They want a man that's tall. But as long as he's taller than me, you see Japanese women say it, you see Filipinas say it, they want a guy that's average height. But is they taller than him? Like, say if a girl is 5'11", 5'10". I'm not going to approach a girl that's 5'10", that's taller than me, right? Or I probably would, just to see if I can get her. But still, a guy is looking to be within reason. He's looking at a woman shorter than her. And he doesn't want to hear, if he's a short king like I am, he doesn't want to hear, oh, yeah, oh, you're too short. When a girl is like this tall, when a girl is 4'11". Because that's what you hear in the States. The girl's 4'11", she's like this, saying, oh, you're too short. And then I'm towering over her. She's like this. Oh, you're too short. I usually date guys at 6'5". Huh? What? You want to have basketball player babies? Can you even have that baby? Ah! Ah! I can't! Cut it out! Cut it out! Getting C-sections, have 10 babies, got 15 C-sections. Because the baby's double the size. She had to get cut here and here. In, in, the, in the vagina. Come on now. Be serious. But yeah. That's, that's what's happening. And guys want to see if they can find us. Now let me see. I think I got another one here. Another brother out there. 
eating with her, having a good time, man. Playing games with her, he's on a date. He's on a date. No, why? Look at that, laughing, smiling, taking pictures. Gorgeous, too, she's gorgeous. Look at that. Oh, she's she cute, though. Ooh. It's Christmas Eve, huh? My man doing, look at her. Yeah, this is why guys want to, want to go and see. And also, it's like that over here, too, right? Guys want to come here, too, because they want to see, what's my chances? And as I explained on Black Filipino, you can go to that channel and see. I talk about ways you can do it, make it happen. And guys want to figure out how to make it happen because they realize it's definitely more to life than dealing with anything that's not that. See you next video. This is the way. Your passport, bro. Cash for no.